All right. I am heading to Reuben Lake, which is right over there. I'm going to have to push my way in, I think. So I set everything up a little differently today. In order to do that, I'm just going to paddle because it would be easier than having to rearrange everything. blast here on the Altamaha River. The weather couldn't be any better. It was cold a few days. Got down into the upper 20s. Only come morning though. Not during the day. <laughs> So, uh, the reason I'm going to try to push into this pond, and you'll see why in a minute, I've already uh, scouted it out. As you can see, I brought a saw because there is one tree in the way. But other than that, it should be pretty fine. This is definitely a fishing trip for kayaks or canoes. Anybody on a bass boat won't be able to get back there. Reuben Lake, if I didn't mention it. Reuben Lake. It's out here in the, the edge of the river. Probably was the river at one time. Super sweet. As you can see, I have got a uh, phenomenal camp. And this boat launch has a, a bathhouse up in there. It's primitive camping, free, and nothing to it. <laughs> a couple of picnic tables if you need that sort of thing. Cell service sucks. Luckily, I have Wee Boost. So I could still. <laughs> watch TV and stuff, but it's spotty, especially during the day. Interstate uh, 95 is where the tower is, and I would say that's a good 10 miles away, so that's where how far away I am. Unfortunately, at night, you can hear it, which really sucks. But what are you going to do? There's so few natural places now. So if you look over there, that's one way in, but it's completely blocked by sandbars. But I happen to notice up ahead of us here that there's water going in. And this is the way to get in there. You could get in there with a good sized boat once the water level comes up. This is normal water level right now. But if there's heavy rains, you could get up in there. There are uh, posted no trespassing signs. But as far as I know about the law, as long as you stay with the water, nobody owns water. be wrong. But I don't think there's going to be any uh, law enforcement coming out here to put handcuffs on me and give me a big old no trespassing ticket. Or just plain trespassing ticket. It's right 
behind this willow. This this ought to be fun, guys. This ought to be fun. Everybody in camp says, you can't make it back there. So obviously I have to prove them wrong, right? <laughs> That's what I love about this little boat, I tell you. I can get places, go to fishing places that nobody else can. Well, unless you have a kayak or canoe. <laughs> and not many people go fishing with kayak. Well, kayaks they do now. That's become a big sport. This first section here, I'm gonna have to pull us through. I got the rope ready. Love it. Let's see. Maybe like this. Nope. Stuck on something, I think. That's cold. <laughs> really? Why are you so stuck? Oh. I can't make it back here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was harder than I thought it was going to be. 
<laughs> that water is frigid. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm in! <laughs> Is this cool or what? <laughs> Boy, that got me all winded. I usually shy away from physical labor. Boy, it's already super duper deep. Nice. Okay. I wish I had a kayak now. Funny, that looks like dog poop on the shore. I'm the only one that's supposed to be back here. This is supposed to be virgin territory, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, bait fish. Oh my God, is it deep? Wow. I bet there's fish under me right now, but I want to get back to the lake before the sun goes down. Sweet, sweet, sweeter than sweet. Real true. Watch yourselves. Yeet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you're all laughing at me die now. <laughs> what should I care? <laughs> You know, there's a chance I might get under that one tree that's in the way. You guys are falling again. Look at all this crap. Hold on guys, here we go. <laughs> okay. Am I on some? Oh, I'm on some. That's the one thing in my way right now.
that's going to be a lot of work. That is going to be a lot of work. Two logs, at least, that will have to be cut. Phone ringing. Potential spam. <laughs> it's real fun living in Georgia right now. <clears throat> So I'm gonna cut this end off. But I'll probably start right here so if that falls in, it won't be in my way. Because I'm gonna have to make two cuts per log, of course. Well, let's get everything out of the way. This is going to require a cigarette. Oh, last one. I don't know why I brought an empty pack out with me. Uh. Wait a minute, how does this work? Yeah, like this. Ta-da! Come back here! Stay still. All right, guys, I did it, and that works good. Got good sound. That's a big spider. Got him. Well, as you can see, the boat is totally destroyed. <laughs> oh, I got crap everywhere. <laughs> but I got under it just enough. Cut off a section. The same the, the second cut was easy because there was no pressure on the wood. So, let's see what the old, turn the old fish finder on. Can't find fish without a fish finder. 55, yes! It is warmer in here. That's good news already. But, uh, hopefully that's it. I might stumble in a few other things. Things like that, they call them knees. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe you ought to be a little higher up. Oh, I hit something. <laughs> How's that? Can you guys see any better? You look good. Okay, let's keep this adventure going. <laughs> Oh, that deserves a cigarette. <laughs> Look at the mess. It's going to take me forever to clean up. Oh, if I don't catch fish back here, there are no fish to be caught. One thing I think might be an issue with me fishing lately and I'm not complaining or anything <laughs> but I think the duck hunters you know they love to go into these little back bays where I like to go in and fish and how is it that one day 
the back bay has tons of fish. But the next day I hear hunters back there and I go in there and there's nothing. So I am just putting two to two together and coming up with I think the gunfire is uh, spooking fish. No big deal. I just have to uh, find uh, places where hunters don't go, like here. And no, they don't go. I walked in here. It's really beautiful. This sandbar right here <clears throat> is uh, chock-a-block full of... Uh, I can only assume it's um, because of the pattern, not knowing what's going on down here, that it's otter and uh, um, raccoon. Maybe just plain otter. Some of them look a little bit like they could be a raccoon. And a lots of bird. Lots and lots of bird. Lots of duck. <laughs> but the duck hunters, they don't come back here because they can't get their boat, obviously, back here. So, no footprints that I saw. Oh, man, we're already at six feet. Let's see how this thing works. And it's not working. <laughs> yeah, now it says nine feet, eight feet. <laughs> uh, ten feet, ten feet. <laughs> it can almost touch both sides. <laughs> I love it. This is the, this has got to be like the old river or, or something. They call it Reuben Lake, though. And I guess I should really get there so you guys can see it. If I don't hit anything else. Ah, there it is. Oh. There's nothing there. Full power. all this work and no fish. Here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a bass. Why is it I always catch bass first? Isn't that weird? Ah, come here, little guy. I'll get you off that hook. Oh, yeah. Pretty little fish. Oh, not a hook sore at all, mouth. He is. Perfectly clean. Eee! 
Hey, look at that. You know what? Well, it's just a bit skinny. Not too bad, though. No parasites. Nice. You gonna do a little dance for me, bud? No, too cold. All right. Still got plenty of time left. Reuben Lake. <sighs> yeah. God, I love that smell. Fresh fish. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they like the twitch. Another bass, I think. Nope, nope, nope. What do we got? Bluegill? My God, look at the size of him. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. You know, he's got a... It's odd, he has a... He has some issues. Ew. It looked like he had something going on in his rec rectum. Hopefully it was just some wormy parasite and I ain't gonna catch anything from it. He bit me right after a little twitch. Let's see if that'll work again. Whoa, what a hit. It's a calico. Beautiful calico. Crappie. Jesus. Nice little guy. I'll take him. That's probably what's down there. Big old school. <laughs> I'm in paradise. I might have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> now there's another place I want to go. Yeah, nice duck box. What if anybody's in it? There we go. There we go, guys. Oh, come on, come on. This thing's a monster. This thing's a monster. Got to play him slow. Play him slow. Got to play him slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not even hooked. <laughs> he was just under his lip. Love it. Uh, pretty, pretty. Look at that thing. Nice. Yeah, how about a, yeah. <laughs> All right. More than likely, this will be my, uh, my, uh, what do they call it? Uh, yeah. 15 inches, not bad. <clears throat> That'll be my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, so much fun playing these things. Did you get wet at all? Nope. If 
fun to play these things on a uh, four pound test ultralight. You can't just rake them in, you know. You gotta wear them out a little bit. Line feels good. Let's see what else we can get. I'm in the trees. Whoop. Oh, I'm stuck in the I'm actually stuck in the tree. Come on, come on. Damn it. <laughs> Amateur. Of course I never do this. Only my brother does this. I don't do this. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Ooh, got him hooked good, too. Eleven and a half. Not, not that bad. Eight inches is a keeper. I don't know what they're mad at. Guys, <laughs> another one. <laughs> ah, you get me wet. It's cold. Don't get me wet. Same thing. Same size. Hey, there's a spider on the camera. Well, I found the calicos. <laughs> I mean, the crappies. <laughs> Man. A little smaller. A little smaller. Do a dance, buddy. <laughs> this thing is like fishing in a barrel. <laughs> oh, Betty. Oh, you got him out yourself, huh? Oh no, did it splash you? No. Oh, that water is so cold. Fifty-two degrees. Feels colder than that to me. Pink. Uh, 
I just don't get tired of this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, hey, he's a good size. Yeah, you are. Let's get you in here and measure you. Oh, no. I guess I was just being hopeful. Barely hooked. <laughs> The little guy. <laughs> oh. oh, it's another bear. <laughs> oh, I lost that one. <laughs> I was too choked up. You gotta let them have some line to play with. Nice one. Yeah. Eleven inches. Seems to be the norm in here. Little guy. Yep. Ooh, doggy. This one looks pretty good size. Ah! Nice. That was 11 and a half. That's a little bigger. little guy Another little guy. What if it's the same one? <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice size. Ooh, he's stuck in there. Barely hooked, though. Yeah. Nope. Gonna need the heavy equipment. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh! <laughs> right under the boat. <laughs> You know what? It's getting cold. I think I'm going to have to call it. Well, guess we'll call it. Oh, Reuben Lake was awesome. I'm getting cold. I got a little damp. That sun went down just enough to start getting cold. I got a lot of cleanup to do. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get this thing clean. <laughs> oh, I think I was getting bit by something. So it was well worth coming out here, chopping up that log. Pushing my way back here, dragging the boat, busting a gut. Would have been a lot easier if I had a kayak or canoe or something. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I enjoyed it though. It's just gorgeous. So, hopefully the next time will be way out. Something that just says Fish Lake. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't know if I can make it, but I'll take you guys along with me <coughs> and uh, we'll find out. Oh, I hear something. Who that? Probably squirrel. Squirrel! Squirrel! Probably should have started off sooner, or boy, I sure could have caught a lot more fish if I did. This is pretty fun, though. These guys are trapped in here, you know. It's like fishing in a barrel. Now if I can only get out of here in one piece, we'll be all set. Here's a bobber. I should probably get it. I suspect it probably floated in here, to be honest with you. But who knows? The water's high enough, you can get in here easy enough. I love these things. According to what I've heard, they're called knees. And they believe the trees breathe by that. I don't know what a cypress tree looks like, but one of these has got to be a cypress. 
I don't know my trees. guys I hope you enjoyed the show I'm going to cut her off now and push my way through you don't need to watch me struggle I know it could be funny but we'll call it quits here so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next lake or pond review